Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a different type of video. Uh, when I post photos on Instagram of more dewy, natural looks, you guys seem to love it. And you guys have been requesting me doing a video with less powders, more natural, kind of model-esque looks. So what I'm going to do is follow a Instagram makeup artist tutorial. So if you follow Nikki Makeup or Emma Chen Artistry, I love both of them. They do on their highlights show full tutorials on models, so it's saved in case you want to go back and watch. So I'm going to follow an Emma Chen artistry makeup tutorial so I'm just gonna use you know the products in my collection so you can recreate at home if you'd like we're going to do way less powder than I typically do techniques are gonna be different brushes are gonna be different and I'm gonna really try to apply my makeup like a makeup artist on Instagram would a lot of the makeup artists on Instagram do more natural glam looks really dewy skin really fluffy brows glossy lips that's kind of what they're known for so I'm gonna try to recreate a look from her Instagram I will link her Instagram down below and we're gonna use minimal powder which is different for me so we're gonna go ahead and begin if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe and let's go ahead and jump in zoomed you guys in and we're gonna start with the skin she goes in with a Becca serum. It's like the Becca Elixir serum. I believe she's a Becca ambassador, so she uses a lot of those products. I'm going in with the Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance Skin Serum. Just something similar. You could use really anything. And she just uses her hands to apply it. Well, she just kind of goes like this. I'm sure it looks cooler for, you know, Instagram videos. And then she just uses her hands. I notice a lot of Makeup artists on Instagram use like a flat foundation brush, but she actually just used her hand. So we're gonna follow along. So next I always see her using these iconic London illuminator drops. I'm gonna go in with the shade Shine, which is a light pinky, but she applies these to the high points of the face. And then she also applies it down the center of the nose before foundation. She usually just takes a small brush and really just kind of applies it to the high points of the face and it doesn't have to be perfect obviously because we're gonna go over wow wow I look beautiful right now I just caught a glimpse of myself and it was slightly terrifying so foundation wise she uses a Becca foundation but I actually have been playing around with the Urban Decay weightless uh, stay naked foundation and I really like this one for not setting it heavily a lot of foundations I feel like I have to set them because they feel so sticky like they're going to kind of come off this is a light medium coverage to me this is a very natural foundation and this works well for that so I'm gonna mix my shades because they're not perfect. I have 40 WY and 40 NN, and I'm going to do a couple pumps on the back of my hand. And I've been playing around with this and not setting it heavily. I set under my eyes and I set kind of the T-zone, but I'm not doing my typical baking and all of that, and it seems to work well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this brush. This is an F625 from EIG. And I'm gonna use this to kind of set the foundation down. And then she does go in with a It Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. Mine is dirty right now, but I'm just using a Real Techniques buffing brush. So this is the base on, and I don't want to add any more. Typically, I'd probably go in with more, but this is a more natural look. I feel like I have a good medium coverage, and I like the way this feels on the skin. It's a little bit tacky, but it doesn't feel heavy. So next, she actually goes in with a cream bronzer. She uses a NARS one, but I'm going to use this Milk Makeup Baked. I just bought this from Sephora after it came back in stock because everybody raves about it. So she actually takes the product on a brush and uses it that way. And she just uses it to really kind of warm up and give a little bit of dimension to the face. So really just around the perimeter of the forehead. And then she also goes, obviously, the hollows of the cheeks. It's really interesting because typically I would go in with my concealer next, but she doesn't do it in that order. So it's just a little bit different. And I noticed that she, she does use a beauty blender sometimes, but not as much as you would have thought. So it's interesting to see what kind of brushes and products, you know, Instagram makeup artists use. So next she actually sets it with a powder. She goes in with a Becca product, but I'm gonna use this Jouer Dark Hydra Blur Primer. This scares me because typically I just feel like it will grab, so I'm gonna be very light-handed and use more of a stippling motion, but she does say that this, I mean, the point of this is to set that bronzer 
it's just a different technique than what I'm used to. So next she goes into brows. I'm going to use this brow gel from Lime Crime in Baby Brown. She uses actually soap brows, but I don't have the big fluffy brows like the model, so I'm gonna use this to really beef my brows up and then we'll use a pencil to fill in. So I'm gonna start doing hair like strokes. I'm gonna use my iconic London brow cushion. So now that we have the kind of fluffy brow effect, or as fluffy as I can get them, I'm going in with a cream blush. I'm going in with Flamenco from ColourPop, and she uses a brush, the same brush that she used to do the uh, cream bronzer. So I'm just going to apply some on the brush. And uh, a lot of these makeup artists go really heavy with the blush, which I'm okay with because I love a heavy blush. So after she does blush, she takes a beauty sponge and she just kind of goes around the edges just to make sure it's kind of seamless. So next she uses like a really illuminating product, a powder. I'm gonna go in with my iconic London Luminous Powder. She uses the Becca Glow Letters, but I decluttered those. Essentially, it's just like a bronzy kind of highlight, and she just goes over this very lightly. Okay, so she does go in with concealer. I'm gonna use Shortbread. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, and the way that they apply it, they don't use a lot. I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand with a Real Techniques setting brush and they just kind of sweep it very lightly. So for eyeshadow, she uses those Becca letters, which is basically a shimmery kind of highlight bronzer. So I'm gonna go in to this shimmery shade, and she just basically does a wash over the entire crease and lid, which is so interesting because I feel like how many times have we all heard don't use a, cre or a shimmer on your crease or in your crease, but. And then she takes a little bit of that highlight again and just puts it in the inner corner. So she also does a winged liner, but it's very thin and very turned up. So I'm going to do my best. It's not, you know, straight out. It, it's like really up towards the brow bone. I can't speak when I do this, so I'm going to do my best. Okay, I could not get that on camera just because it's so much higher than I'm typically used to. I'm going in with my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. And then she does use individual lashes, which I don't have, but I'm going to kind of cut a pair of lashes and see if I can make it work. This mascara though, wow, I'm really enjoying it. For lashes, because I don't have individuals, I'm gonna take this little piece from a strip lash that I cut. These are uh, Saucy Lashes Dirty Talk, and it's just gonna really give me kind of like that fluttery outer edge. So while I let my lash glue dry, she does set her blush a lot with a powder. So I'm gonna go in with this Jill Stewart Blend Blush Blossom 02 into the really bright shade. And just kind of stipple over. So now we're gonna do powder. She does just a little bit in the T-zone. I'm gonna use Cody Airspun. So first I wanna make sure that I get any creasing out, but honestly there's not much creasing because we barely put any concealer down. And then she just kind of sets very lightly with a brush the T-zone only. So I'm going back in with my Too Faced Mascara. This can get really clumpy, but I'm gonna use this to blend all these lashes in and kind of beef it up. 
So for highlighter, she always uses a liquid. So I'm going to go back in with my Iconic London. And she uses kind of like an eyeshadow brush and just kind of blends it in to the Cupid's bow and down the center of the nose. So for lips, she just lines with a nude lip liner, usually like MAC Strip Down. I'm going in with Sorme Cosmetics number 7. So for lips, she goes in with like a peachy shade. This is MAC French Silk. And then she also usually goes over with the Tom Ford lip gloss. I'm going to go in with KKW Super Nude. And she applies it to the center. And then I'm going to add a little bit of freckles just because I feel like tons of the models on Instagram have freckles. So... Alright guys, here's the finished makeup look. I apologize for my hair. I could not get it together, so I just had to throw it back. Standout techniques for me is using a shimmer in the crease and all over the lid. I just feel like it's so pretty. It's effortless. It makes you look very natural, but you still have a little bit going on. I also really like cutting the lashes and just using the individuals on the outside. Well, I didn't use individuals, but I know a lot of makeup artists do. If you're new to lashes, that can be a little intimidating, trying to kind of line them up. So if you just clip the outside or the outer part of the lash and then pop it on and then use your natural lashes in the center, it's a little bit more natural. I don't know how I feel about not powdering a bunch of stuff because I feel like I can get a little bit patchy out here for me. I really liked using less concealer because in turn I could use use less powder for a more natural look. Do I think this is going to be the most long lasting? Probably not, but I think if you're not going in with a full coverage, it can be more forgiving when it does wear off a little bit. And I found that this Urban Decay foundation does wear well. Just know if you're a full B, you know, matte kind of person, I don't think you're going to like it. It's more of a natural, kind of like a face and body type of foundation. So those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and just see me try some techniques because I know that we all have our things where I like to powder my full face. I like to use more powder products, full lashes, you know, a ton of eyeshadow shadow and I feel like this is effortless so stand out for me today would be the eyes 100% just quick easy but still feel like I'm put together so let me know your thoughts down below what kind of techniques stood out to you what you think of the way that my skin is looking and all of my makeup thank you guys again so much for watching I'll see you in the next video